And today I am very excited to review set number 75002, ages 7 through 12, ATRT with 222 pieces. Now, one thing I want to tell you guys, 7 through 12 is something you will not see on Lego boxes these days. It would usually be 7 and up for a set like this. Um, because Lego doesn't do ages, age through age. They just do seven and, and up. So they didn't do that back then. Now they do. I just found out that. I just found that out recently. Lego Star Wars. You have Yoda, the classic 2013 Yoda on the box. You have three awesome minifigures. Joking Hazard. Um, all, right over here you have the actual size of Yoda. As well as the two other minifigures. Both of those... Both the 501st Legion Clone Trooper as well as the Clone Droid Cl Commando Droid Captain were both exclusive to this set, um, or at least they were new at the time. Also, on the back, on the sides, you do have this little picture right over here, and on the back, you do have some some tape because this wasn't a brand new set, but it was like it looks brand new. It was just opened; it wasn't sealed. Uh, you have just all this stuff. I really love the 2013 boxes. They were so shiny. The boxes these days aren't shiny like like this. I, I love this. This is my favorite box that I have. So there you go. But that was a very very long intro to this video. Let's begin with the minifigures. Anyway, the first minifigure that we get in the set is the Commando Droid Captain. Overall, this is a very nice minifigure. He comes with some. I guess this is like gray or it looks kind of brown. It's like grayish, kind of dark gray kind of color maybe. It looks a little bit brown on camera or at least that's from where I'm looking. This is gray, should be gray at least. Comes with some super battle droid legs as well as a blaster as well as a normal battle droid body and normal battle droid arms and an exclusive mold for the head. Not, not exclusive for the set but exclusive commando droid head so if you don't have a commando droid you probably don't have this head on the back you do have like the one stud right over here as well as this red dot on the front okay the next minifigure that we get in the set is yoda this is my first yoda that's not a baby yoda and i really really like this minifigure i really like this head the gray hair the ears this is like a rubbery kind of material this is supposed to look like the Clone Wars head, but this is probably the least creepy Clone Wars head out there. I think this one is the, the only one that looks normal, in my opinion. We also have a green lightsaber for him, which is very cool. Some pretty cool body printing, as well as some really cool printing on the back with the hood. And he also comes with the short legs. So now, we have my main draw for the set. One of my top 10 favorite minifigures of all time. We have the 501st Legion Clone Trooper. This figure is amazing. Comes with some very, very cool printing at the time. At least I think that this looks very cool. Comes with the clone helmet with the blue stripe right over here. And the visor is printed on. Underneath, he comes with the normal Clone Trooper head. Don't only have to look at that longer than a second. Also, the normal 501st stripe on the body with some really cool body printing, some blue arms, as well as a black hip piece with some nice printing on the legs. On the back, you also have some more very cool printing and comes with a blaster. One of my favorite minifigures ever. That's all I have to say about this. Lego does not call this a minifigure. I do. It's like a figure, I guess. 
So the final figure that we get in the set is the Sniper Droid or Sniper Droidica. Overall, this looks very cool. I don't really know how you're supposed to like position this because on the box it shows you to do this like like this right over here as you can see but I think that it looks very cool when this is just like like that so I think that when this is like, you know you know what I mean because Lego says you have to do it like like this uh, but it, it looks wrong to me so I do it like this and it looks fine but he comes with two of like these like I guess lever pieces as well as this red dot that probably represents his eye as well as this gun or blaster as well as these things that can just do that if you want and you can curl him up like that and can't really roll but I don't think the sniper droid sniper droids were meant to roll only the droidicas I don't know, I forgot. Maybe the sniper droids do roll as well, but, like, their shield kind of, like, does something and they turn into a ball. But, overall, pretty cool. The one thing that I really don't like about this uh, figure or the sniper droid is the yellow stud right over here. I don't think that that is accurate. Maybe they could have used a different stud. Or maybe I'm, I'm just forgetting how this looks in real life. The like. second build that we get in this set is the 501st. ATRT or ATRT, whatever you want to call it. Overall, this is a very, very, very neat build, and I really like it. So, with that said, let's begin from the top over here. Do you have this cannon? Can move side to side, not 360 degrees, but still. Also, you do have this front right over here. These pieces can move, as well as this one. This can move forward, and these can move forward as well. However you want it to be, it will be, you can do whatever you want with that. I, I like to keep it like this. You also have 501 right over here, as well as 501, as well as this, these two sticker pieces right over here, which are very cool. Moving on, you do have this little place where you can sit your 501st Clone Trooper just like this, and then you can place the handlebars right in his hands and you can start driving the ATRT as well as you have this stud right over here where you can put his blaster since he isn't using it at the moment also you have these antenna pieces so you can't really move them unlike on the other previous two ATRTs I think we've only gotten two ever since this one where they changed the where they changed the the design we can move this like that I guess you also have these two pieces I don't know what they're for but you can maybe have a minifigure like like Yoda grab onto them and without his lightsaber because his lightsaber would be in the way and you can just pretend that he's hanging on to the ATRT if you want to so you have these two handlebar pieces you can go wild over there. But also, you do have the legs, because that's really what, what the ATRT is meant for, for running. Ooh, not using your legs, instead you use robotic legs. So, you have these like armored plates right over here. You can move these legs like that, like that, as well as like that. And you also have the foot piece, where you can lift this up. Same, same movement for this one. So, overall, pretty cool anyway ATRT. guys that is it for this review overall this is a very fun set i recommend you guys get it even though it does cost 50 dollars used and even more sealed i still think you get great value if especially if you like the 501st battle pack and just want to see what started the 501st battle pack what started it all 501st atrt very very cool sets the minifigures are 10 out of 10. This Droidica thing is a 5 out of 10. I don't really like it. And the ATRT build is an 8 out of 10. Probably because my pieces are a little loose. But that's just Lego's fault because the older the pieces are, the more loose they are. So, there you go. But yeah, with that said, the overall thing, 10 out of 10. Perfect set. Go buy it. But with that said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other channels, Matsugo Games and Matsugo Vlogs. Matsugo Games, 
We are playing Republic Commando. Go check that out. Upload weekly videos there. We are on like part 13. We are in the ship. We're probably, I don't, I, I don't know what we're going to do. I still haven't recorded that video yet. I'm going to go do that right now. But yeah. See you guys next time. Bye.